Hey guys, um, I'm finally not sick. Maybe no, I'm I'm still kind of sick. I, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm I've been sick the past I'd say three three days, and it, it was pretty bad. Like I was I was fucking I was in bed and I I, I was couldn't move. I was I was shivering. It was it was terrible. That's besides the point. So hope everyone is having a good whatever time it is for you right now um kind of an, an announcement i'm thinking of, so this is gonna be like the beginning of kind kind of a mini series that i want to start where i just talk about everything like it's daybreak related and uh what a better topic to start off with is why i'm still playing this game uh, it, it seems that literally anybody would think after everything that has happened, like, why, why would I still be playing this game? Like, so much has happened, the dramas happened, the just the game is kind of doo doo. <laughs> um, yeah, why, why do why do I keep playing this? Um, and it's. It's kind of simple, but kind of not simple at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty interesting because a lot of people. Well, I guess the answer is kind of different for everybody, but the most common answer is because you know the game. You, you like like I like the game. You know. Uh, I can imagine some people are like, "Oh, she she wants to do it for the money." Uh, no, well, it, the drama was made primarily for the money. Uh, but the reason why I keep playing Daybreak is because you know I just I just enjoy the game. Like, unironically, I enjoy playing the game. You know, it's fun. Uh, it's it's. You know, it's easy for me to grind on. It makes the time fly. Time flies too fast when you're playing this game. More than when I used to play Combat Warriors. You know, every round used to like feel really short, and those those shits were 30 minutes long. This is even faster, and this is 15 minutes. So you can just imagine how much time passes by when you play Daybreak. Um, but you know. Uh, I, li I like so much about this game, and I don't like a lot about this game, but I, I guess we could go over the pros and cons about me playing Daybreak and, you know, just me sticking with it. So, I guess the first thing for me to explain is exactly why. What's my motivation for continuing to play this game? Because, you know somebody anybody could look at my position and say that staying like continu continuing to make content on daybreak and playing daybreak is probably a bad decision like unironically a bad fucking decision uh sorry for going off topic right now uh this chair i got this nice chair from Otto or josh whatever you want to call him Appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for the chair. It's fucking comfortable. All right, my ass doesn't have to hurt off the damn damn white wooden chair, bro. Like, here's a picture of it. Here's a picture of it. It was fucking terrible. But um, anyways, my bad. My bad for getting off track. Yeah, anybody could look at me and my position and say, "Yo, playing Daybreak, staying, and like continuing to make content is such a bad just like such a bad decision. Like, why would you do that?" And it's pretty simple. It's because I like, regardless of whatever happens, you know, I enjoy the game at its core. I enjoy the gameplay, the characters, like the game has a specific charm that it has than other asymmetrical horrors, you know, believe it or not, you know, uh, I enjoy this better than dead by daylight, you know, it's easier than Dead by Daylight, in some cases. Uh, it's more fun. It's like the one asymmetrical horror that is still kind of relevant. 
besides fleet facility but we all know how fleet facility is <coughs> uh no updates but my players for some fucking reason yo this is bad yo fuck please fuck fleet of facility all right we we on that other game you you already know what game i'm talking about shout out to the videos a lot about this game you know just the diverse characters fucking like there's there's just so much to this game that there's so much to this game that you could enjoy you know like the killers you know it has something for everybody in this game which is Amazing! You don't you don't you don't get that for a lot of games, honestly. You know, a lot of people don't give Daybreak credit. You know, a lot of people don't give Brenda credit. You know, thing this right here, what she made, is quite honestly amazing. You know, a working asymmetrical horror with horrible fucking netcode. I'm be honest, <laughs> terrible, terrible fucking netcode. Fix the netcode, please. Um, you know, asymmetrical horror game with a, a diverse cast, good mechanics, fun gameplay, kind of pretty much fast pace. It's fun on both sides. Um, you get a lot of options with everything like characters, customization, stuff like that. Um, and it's not pay to win. It is not pay to win, which is amazing. You know, I like games where it takes skill to play. You know, this game takes skill. A, a lot of people don't have skill. I'm, I'm just saying, a lot of people don't have skill. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna play a game in the background while we're doing this shit live. You know, live. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully not. You know, stop. I mean lose focus because sometimes i lose focus while playing this game when i'm trying to talk it's kind of hard to multitask but like this game has a lot all right and i think everyone should give brenda credit all right for the creation itself like it quite literally has stuff for any everybody all right and what came of it is good and bad you know sometimes a bit horrible but hey i'm i'm kind of trying to look for the, the like the positives you know what i'm saying but like that's it's mainly the reason why i keep playing it because it's just so enjoyable to me you know and like the main thing is you know the drama that people like still bring up i me i ended it i ended the drama you know people took it how they you know took it different directions you know people left the freaking entire thing stuff like that and you know people took their people just chose what path they wanted to take after that whole thing was just over and done with you know me though uh me getting quite literally the worst of it i continue to make content play enjoy the game you know like just, why 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 would you do that you know seems pretty stupid if you you know would ask anyone uh it's just i don't know you know i'm not gonna like let just drama and discourse and bullshit happen and then just just push me away from something i like to do you know i like to play daybreak all right and no bickering on fucking discord and twitter is gonna stop me from playing this game all right the only thing that can stop me from playing this game is quite literally a ban but even then i got alt accounts no i don't uh i, I lost my alt accounts regardless i'm gonna continue to play this game until something happens i don't know when that will be some people was like, I, "Yo, when are you gonna retire from Daybreak?" Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know when I'm going to retire because, like, that's kind of hard for me to retire from Daybreak. You know, with the position I'm in, uh, we are 
currently at one point uh no no two point eighteen k subs two point eighteen k right now i the, the channel's been going very smoothly all right i am appreciative of all the support i've gotten you know i enjoy all the negativity i've gotten honestly uh i don't have any problem with it but no nah, i'm gonna continue to play daybreak for uh, as long as i pretty much want to honestly and from right now i don't see any time in the future where i'll stop honestly now um what i, I do want to talk about a bit is sort of about the drama which basically is people moving away from the game due to the drama um now i understand people you know they want to get away from the drama and bullshit like that you know it's horrible they don't want to deal with that bullshit it's pretty bad but you know it just what what's the word it kind of just is unfortunate how it just pushed people away so much that people stop like it stopped making people do what they like to do you know i know a lot of the people who who just wanted to enjoy daybreak play daybreak content but they got stuck into the drama so it was pretty unfortunate how like it had to go down um so but i will say that regardless of what happens i would try to say don't allow other people online to stop you from doing what you like to do if that makes any sense i don't know this this whole this whole entire ordeal right now whatever the fuck this is going on it's kind of it's kind of distracting me but like yeah if you if you're listening to me you understand what i mean like just because motherfuckers are like oh you're this you're that like it shouldn't it uh, quite literally shouldn't stop you from doing what well, letting you do what you want to do you know what i'm saying so i don't know he's dead Anyways. Uh, so i hope that some of the people that left daybreak may be able to return maybe i mean if they want to but you know the whole drama and discourse like shouldn't honestly have them you know leave so what's another thing what's on uh i'm in a bad lobby right now i will say that i'm in a bad lobby this lobby is kind of trash if i'm being honest uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening over here anyways while i sit here and wait for an opportunity um oh no that's a bad idea he's dead farmed wow great look at this dude stupid ass anyways um moving past that you know people are moving away from the drum i mean the, the game and everything something good about this game is uh a lot of people don't know but i actually do believe that the diverse set of characters is amazing now a lot of games are starting to do that now you know fucking valorant siege fucking any characters with any no no any game with like different characters they're trying to like have them very diverse all right and daybreak in my opinion being the most diverse game ever all right besides the fact that literally everyone is gay and there's like one two straight characters three straight characters all right but hey more for diversity i guess there's literally everybody there's one for everything you know so there's a cat and like they're adding more and more characters so i'm sure like they're gonna like have more characters from different like countries or have different nationalities or the case may be that's amazing it's honestly amazing 
something bad about the game though is whatever happened there the net code the net code is horrid this net code is by far the worst on any roblox game i have ever played in my life it is terrible like unironically horrible and like I, I know they could fix it but I don't know if they like just don't know how to or if they just don't want to like if they're like just I don't know lazy I wouldn't say that like Brenda and the dev team is lazy you know they put in work all right, I see the work that they put in. All right, but uh, <laughs> and, like that's kind of funny because you know uh, the dev team doesn't like me, but hey, I I'll still give them props. All right, the props that they deserve. You know what I'm saying? They they put in the work. They put in work. Um, but this netcode, if if only they could just fix it or improve it. And if you don't know what netcode is, it's basically how the game operates online how smooth it runs how compatible it is all that that's what netcode is or at least my interpretation or my definition wherever you want to call it so it is a uh, very very uh, uh that guy sucks anyways. Uh, I'm gonna get MVP. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's like one thing that I hope they could fix. Another good thing that came from Daybreak is the community. The community, there's a lot of creative people, alright? The bulk of my current community is from Daybreak. All right, even though I'm not a Daybreak community, I'm just a person who plays Daybreak. All right, it's my community is my community, but a lot of them came from Daybreak, all right? And there are a lot of creative people, a lot of interesting people, nice people to talk to, all right? And a bad thing about Daybreak is the community, but I already I already spoken more 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 than enough about that. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip over all that but ooh, hold on sorry 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 guys but I just got a mammal prestige yes sir mm-hmm mm -hmm. yes sir so uh, yeah um I just wanted to sit here and talk about, you know, the, some good things and bad things and why I uh, am going to continue to make content and play this game regardless on how people feel about it. Because, you know, I, I, I don't care about what others think when it comes to me, you know, uh, I personally I have that strong uh, mentality. You know, unfortunately, other people don't have that same mentality. You know, they're easily persuaded or pressured, and it's unfortunate, but it's just how some people are. But, uh, yeah, um, I honestly think that is all I had to say or wanted to say. But, 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 but there is other things that I kind of want to say. Uh, not uh, not it's, all right. I'm moving away from video. This is separate from the video. All right, the video's over. Y'all can leave. All right, video's over. Roll the intro. If you're still here, um, so uh, recently, uh, if you don't know, uh, I well, I, I'll give you the story. So I watched V's video. I mean, V's stream about uh that new asymmetrical horror game uh, co c o uh co coalition uh, so, so whatever coalition of slayers like, so, yeah, that game. uh 
Uh, it looked interesting. It looked like just Friday the 13th on Roblox or whatever. I thought, hey, this shit, this shit looked pretty interesting. When is it coming out? I couldn't find the game when searching on Roblox, so like, hmm, probably you know, early access. I joined the Discord, and I say, "Where's uh, is there an official release date? Like something along the lines of like, hey, when, when is there an official release date? Uh, that's like, I literally joined and asked. I got banned in like under a minute under not that's exaggerating in under five minutes I got banned world record time me getting banned it was insane and uh, you know I uh, brought it up with someone and I'm like, yo, world record time. I got banned. Let's go. And like, yo, you did you did you even say anything? And like, you know, I just asked for a release date. Like, damn, it's crazy. And then they told me, like, oh yeah, uh, Daybreak and that team, which is actually the Till Death team, you know that dead ass game that I made that one video on? Yeah. Uh it's the same people that made it which crazy step up in quality like that's that's fucking insane because like comparing till death to that new game that they were that v was playing i'm like yo it, it doesn't even look like like doesn't even feel like the same game like that's fucking crazy like props that <sighs> amazing like spring up in quality uh but you know unfortunately <laughs> they they thought well i don't know exactly what they thought all i can ex all i can assume is that they still think i'm like a you know shitty person or they just don't want me like my presence anywhere near them since it might cause drama or discourse, which I can I can understand that you know, especially everything that's Thank happened and much, stuff. Uh, but it's it's kind of unfortunate how I just got banned with no just nothing, only because I'm I'm the ancient one. It's kind of unfortunate, but you know that, that that's one thing that's and that's one insane thing that has happened. It is wild. Um, what's another thing that has happened? Hmm. Yeah, honestly, uh, oh, I, I got a haircut. I don't know if you guys know, but I got a haircut. It's just sh like kind of shaved around the edges, and that's that's about it. I mean, my hair is still fucked up because it's always fucked up. That's how I. That's how I uh, rock my hair, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's it for this video. I've been recording for about 23 minutes. I'm gonna do minimal edits. I'll probably just cut it and just upload it. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comments how do you feel about this kind of format. I am going to implement it more, but if you want me to speak about specific things when it comes to like daybreak, uh, let me know. So, let me know. I can talk about it. And uh, I'll I'll wait until this uh, chase ends, so I can uh, you know uh, end the video. So enjoy this uh, chase. Also, feel free to use this route, this uh, loop route. Oh, sure. This person does not vault, so I think I could literally just. Oh yeah, I can. Ooh. This is gonna be a while, guys. Uh, I apologize. I should be ending the video.
cut the video.